Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 where we are in the middle of a naval bombardment battle or a coastal bombardment battle rather as the game actually calls them where I have two of my armored cruisers versus two Japanese armored cruisers. For whatever reason the Augusta is refusing to fire its forward gun. I don't know why. It only seems to be the forward gun that's refusing to fire because the rear is firing and the Houston is also firing. The Augusta is not labeled as disabled for its forward gun, and I don't see any hits to the forward turret. Uh, which, well, I'm pretty sure there are no hits to it. I, if I'm recalling correctly, turret A is the aft turret. It's possible I'm misremembering, though, actually. Maybe the turret A is the front one, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure turret A is aft. There we go, now the Augusta is firing its forward turret. It just... I don't know what the hell is going on there. Now, I don't know if we have enough ammo to sink these guys. Because sinking ships is actually kind of a pain unless you get lucky. Um, and to be able to destroy the target. Uh, the Kasuga is on fire and supposedly heavily damaged. Ah, uh, the Augusta's on fire now too, which means I'm gonna have to slow down and give it time to get that under control. Hopefully they do it fairly quickly. But I'm gonna break off. Oh shit, the Houston's on fire now too. There we go. Kasuga looks like it's probably going into port. Or, excuse me, the other one looks to be going into port. The Kasuga is still coming after us, annoyingly enough. We don't have a lot of ammo left, as we got that pop-up for 50% ammo. We're still going to try to destroy the land target if we can. Though we may lose the Houston. Which would suck. Come on, Kasuga, just go into port. You have to be pretty heavily damaged. Uh... Okay, well the other one just took a torpedo from the bulk down here. That uh, just so happened to... <laughs> Be one of the AI-controlled ships in the neighborhood. You need to get your damn fire under control, Houston. And your rudder got hit now as well. Well, Houston, if you can't get your damn shit under control, it, uh, Augusta's gonna be abandoning you, I think. Let's try and draw it into these other ships. There we go. But again, I don't think we have the ammo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have the ammo to take the land target, but we'll do what we can. Maybe we get lucky. Houston. Get that damn fire under control. Well, I'm breaking the Houston off. So it stops slowing the Augusta down. The Augusta is going to go full speed towards that objective. No, 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 no. Houston, you are in your own damn division. Once you get that fire under control, you're going home. Actually, you know what? You're going home anyway. Hopefully you get it under control because I really don't want you to sink. Uh, Louisville just took a torpedo from the enemy Kasuga more than likely. I want you to come to a stop.
I don't think you have the ammo, though, if I'm being honest. Come on, Houston. How hard is it to get a fire under control? Yeah, that has no armor, so your secondaries should be able to help you deal with it. There you go, Houston. The fire's almost done. Said the fire is almost done. There you go. Go home. You are way too beat up. You're not doing anything productive anymore. You're out of main gun ammo, but you still have secondaries. Just keep firing them. Uh, okay. Somebody, one of our AI-controlled destroyers, more than likely, just fired on a enemy large merchant. How much ammo do you still have on these things? God. Wow, your secondaries just have tons of freaking ammo. a good thing because you're kind of sucking at hitting but I think you might be able to do it eventually how's the Houston doing you still getting home nice yeah you are slow down to 10 knots you apparently are suffering from some flooding there you go. You managed to destroy the objective. Wonderful. Augusta, get the hell out of there. Now we leave. And night's falling. Wonderful. And our submarine, when retiring from the engagement, managed to just sink an enemy transport again. Well, another enemy just transport. Docks completed, Memphis. I know that game. Close to mastering reliable burst charging. Uh, no to that, thank you. New British fighter, rumored to be faster than ours. Fighting continues in Formosa. Sunk an enemy corvette. Sunk another enemy corvette. Ah, uh, yes. I was planning to send the guys in the Central Pacific. Minus maybe a couple of them. Uh, the Memphises are, I think, a recent-ish design, right? Right, game? Show obsolete. Um, or excuse me, the Minneapolises. What the hell was I thinking Memphises? Uh, yes, they are a 1923 design originally, so they are fairly recent. So we're going to leave the Corvettes that are in the Central Pacific, because I don't want them. Uh, but everything else is going to Northeast Asia. Uh, oh, and the New Mexico is going to join you guys, because, um, yeah, it had some condenser problems, which is why it's lagging behind. So it'll be there a little bit later. This fleet, I don't think, will be enough to blockade them. Actually, it might be. I don't have a lot there. Uh, yeah, actually, that might be enough to blockade them. One, especially once the New Mexico arrives. Uh, Germany. Yep, Germany. I think we're going to be friends for a while, so I'll take it. Japanese ship. Good for them. Interlocked armor plating improves armor quality. Reliable bursting shells enhances damage from penetrating hits. 
aircraft carrying airships, I don't bother with airships, and again, enemy fortifications holding up our advance. Oh shit, they sunk one of our destroyers. The Nicholson. Uh, really? The Japanese have submarines on the east coast of the United States. I find that somewhat unlikely. But so be it, game. I know we're over our base cap in Northeast Asia game. I know we are. But it's fine. It's fine. Japanese refuse to give battle. We get a battle in Northeast Asia now. They probably outnumber us. But I have destroyers. Unlike them. Ah, yes, I must always remember. The New Mexicos were originally battleships, pre-dreadnought battleships that got upgraded. They're kind of shit compared to our original, our uh, constitutions here. They're tiny. They don't have particularly big guns at only 12 inches. Uh, but they should be okay, I suppose. Our guys don't have a lot of fuel. But it should be enough for a battle, I think. I've never had any issues with ships running out of fuel in the middle of a battle. Uh, you guys don't have torpedoes. I don't know why the hell... I instinctively wanted to tell you not to do that. Oh yes, I have a... I have the Indianas here. Well, an Indiana, rather. These should be much better than the Kentuckys we have down in Southeast Asia. Especially since they're fairly quick for dreadnoughts. Ugh. I would have preferred a game if you put both of my battle cruiser or both the New Mexicos together, either in their own thing or with the um, constitutions. Luckily, they're all 25 knots, so it's not too big of an issue. Uh, you are the Warringtons, the fairly recent-ish design. There we go, that's what we want to do. Need to identify this, whatever it is, because we're sinking it. We don't seem to have any of our CVLs, sadly. Also, night is approaching, so this is going to be an annoying battle to fight, to say the least. Well, found the enemy dreadnoughts. Yashima classes. These are even older than the other ones we fought in Southeast Asia. Can't say I'm too surprised that we're fighting older stuff here. I mean, we are seeking their newer stuff. All they really got are their older stuff. Yeah, wow, these are these are old, very old. So they probably have crap for armor quality. Oh wow, look at that. The Indiana's already opening fire. I forgot just how much range these beautiful, beautiful 16-inch guns have. Uh, who the hell fired a torpedo? Oh! The Chattanooga has torpedoes. Oh yes, the Minneapolises have torpedoes. Because they're CLs. For some reason I was thinking they were CAs. Um, so that's a thing, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Also, wow, it looks like the game's only sending their dreadnoughts and an armored cruiser. 
So, you know, just sink the dreadnoughts. That'll make everybody's life easier. Okay, those guys are definitely not going to get hit by that torpedo. You're reorganizing your line, aren't you? That's the only thing that would make sense for this. Uh, you make smoke, because I really would prefer to avoid. There we go. Now, because it's night, I should have an easier time getting my destroyers up here on them. And you guys have surprisingly good firing arcs sometimes. Then other times your firing arcs are completely unknown to me. I should note. You go for the Fuji. Miramat, you go fire one at the Yashima as well. You get another one on- uh, actually I'll have the Wainwright fire at the Yashima. Miramat, you fire another spread at the Fuji. Surprisingly few hits. I will say. Surprisingly few hits. Wayne, right? Get a shot on that Fuji. I would have expected a lot more hits than that. Um, you guys are gonna go for the Akoma there. And for some reason, the Lampsons decided to reorganize the formation because reasons. Alabama's taking a hit. You guys don't have torpedoes. I don't know what the hell that Fuji is doing. You turn, you go. Because you decided to reorganize your formation. Oh, somebody took a hit to the engine room. Looks to be the Lampson. Presumably, right? Yes. But I can't break the lamps and all. Oh! Oh, yeah, that Yashima just got wrecked, I think, by the Saratoga, it looks like. Well, and a collection of actually all of the battle cruisers right down here. Um, you guys, go here. You're gonna go and fire another spread of torpedoes into the Fuji, or into the Yashima. The Miramat and the other guys are gonna go after the Fuji. Miramat's gonna fire its last spread. Boom. Wainwright. Another spread. Boom. And it's dead. Walk, I'm gonna have you... We're gonna turn, so you can get a nice broadside in on it. You're gonna get the nicest spread on it that anybody's gotten on that Fuji. Because literally nobody has been able to get a particularly good spread. You fire your full thing, you turn. Boom. All those hits. Ooh. The Monogan almost took a hit from a friendly torpedo, which would have sucked if it had actually hit. Uh, you actually can. You get a shot in on that? Because I actually know it now. Slow down. I uh, don't know why you're wanting to do a six. 
A six is not going to hit that. I'm going to tell you that right now. There you go. That would hit. I seriously don't know why the Monogam was wanting to fire a six degree torpedo at a target that is not at the six degree. I just need to make sure, I want to make sure these things do not manage to escape. So I'm firing all the torpedoes into them. Now the enemy light cruiser or armored cruiser or whatever the hell it was, was somewhere out here. We kind of lost sight of it, partly because night fell and I wasn't really paying attention to it. Also, we lost track of the other dreadnought because, again, I was kind of focusing on the two that were down here because, you know, sinking two is better than sinking just one. Obviously, sinking all three is better than sinking just two, but I'll live if I only sink the two. Uh, there is something. I don't know what yet. Armored cruiser. It does have submerged torpedo, so I'm going to tell you to turn. And it just took a nice magazine hit. So, never mind. You shouldn't have to worry about torpedoes now. Because the thing's dead. And it blew up far too quickly for I think it to be able to get a an arc on you. Now let's see if we can find the other dreadnought. I don't know what its last heading was. Uh, well that might be it actually. <laughs> it slipped right past us. Yep, that's a big ship. You can tell by the guns. Uh, Samson doesn't have an arc. Preble doesn't have an arc. Alabama, you need a turn. Cincinnati, I don't think you're going to have an arc, but the Minneapolis might. No, Minneapolis actually does not. Columbia has an arc, though. And two hits. Wonderful. Oh, you guys have quads. No, you shouldn't have quads. No, you got triples. I see two there. Got two hits. But only the Columbia fired. I... I don't know. I don't know how we got two hits on that battle cruiser, and... Because I don't think anybody else fired. Yeah, the only one that fired is the Columbia. And it fired three. So unless you misreported two hits, or you got a hit, but it did not. One of them did not actually explode, and literally just like went through an, an open hole in the side of the ship. Don't let it escape. We know where it is. We have to sink it now. Well, I mean, even if we didn't know where it was, we would have to sink it. Just you know. The chances of sinking it were a little bit slimmer in that scenario. Not sure, the walk is struggling to keep up. That's fine, whatever. Break off. Samson, you have an arc. Fire. Boom, boom. You have another shot. Go ahead and take it. Warrington, you turn. Boom, boom, boom. Chauncey has a shot. Fire. And that thing's going to sink eventually. And that'll be the end of this. But, you know, torpedoes are free. So we're just going to sort of try and speed this up as much as we can. He's just outside your arc, I imagine.
and this will winning this battle should give us a blockade on them those other two dreadnoughts apparently have yet to sink it's possible they got flooding under control it's doubtful but it is a possibility so unless they have more ships here than those three dreadnoughts and that one armored cruiser that we've sunk now uh, there should not be any more enemy ships in theory also I'm struggling to find them I blame the knight I know they're somewhere like right here But we can't see shit at night. This is why I can't wait till we get radar. Admittedly, radar gets damaged fairly quickly. I'm gonna tell my guys to slow down. Ooh, the Alabama's taking a hit to its engine room or something at some point. Uh, not to the engine room, but it did take a critical hit early on to its salt water. Or two, it's that resulted in salt water entering the feed tank, which disabled some machinery, which effectively is a hit to the engine. Like I said, I know it's somewhere like right here. Um, yeah, I don't actually need you guys laying smoke anymore. Anyone who's still doing it, you can stop. Oh, it was only the one that I told to lay smoke, apparently. Yep, can't find him. Uh, I guess... I don't know where you guys would go home for home, actually. I don't think Kaicho Bay we can actually enter that port. I'm not sure. I mean, we are allies, but I don't know if we are actually allowed to enter that port. Day is about to break, so we should see them if the game doesn't end the battle. Okay, game ended the battle. Ah, uh, the Lampson was torpedoed by an enemy submarine, so it sunk. Ah, they actually had battle cruisers apparently somewhere. Um, where? Well, I don't think you guys have got enough freaking batteries right here. But why do I get the feeling that their battle cruisers went straight into port? I don't know. Because the game's not showing battle cruisers here at all. I see destroyers and a corvette. Transport. And a bunch of naval or coastal batteries. But I don't actually see a listing of battle cruisers. And I would have presumably seen them. I would have expected them to be relatively close to their dreadnoughts. And once their dreadnoughts got into combat, that the battle cruisers would also move to engage me. And yet that never occurred, as far as I can tell. I don't think we took any damage from any battle cruisers that exist. Either way, we sunk enough of their stuff. This should result in them being blockaded. Improved depth charge racks. Which should be nice. Better 16 inch guns, yes! Fighting continues in Formosa. Really, they're not blockaded. That is. shocking. Ah. It's probably because our stuff there. Yeah, some of our stuff has had to go into port for repairs. Ah yes, I have issues with 
or in tonnage on uh in the Central Pacific. Is there anything I can move there? I don't think so. Actually, that's not true. I have some destroyers in the South Pacific that aren't really needed there right now. We'll move four of them to the Central Pacific. I know game, I'm working on it. I didn't expect them to give me battle. The, ga they ha the game says they have a single battle cruiser estimated here. And interestingly, they actually gave us battle. Apparently the O'Brien and the Elwyn were um, kind of on top of each other for some reason. But whatever, apparently they decided to give us battle anyway. They shouldn't have, because this is going to end poorly for them. But so be it. Unknown ship spotted, that's probably a transport. We'll send our destroyers to sink it. And that battlecruiser is probably doing the same thing that for whatever reason their big ships always seem to do, which is sail to Hong Kong. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Also, make sure none of you guys are on manual targeting for whatever reason. As we observed, for some reason the AI seems to... Remember when ships are put onto manual targeting sometimes. Um, why aren't you guys shooting? You have a target right there. Shoot it, damn it. It still lives. So long as it lives, I want you to shoot at it. Okay, or don't. You know what? Fine. Screw you guys. <laughs> we'll send the, uh... We'll send you to go over here, because there's a transport over there. Oh, okay, it was apparently sinking. Uh, no, don't bother picking up survivors. It's not important. Go over there, sink that other transport. That is combat ships. Now, I don't think that's actually a dreadnought. No, it is in fact actually a battle cruiser, which is only a minor improvement. It is an ancient battle cruiser. Well, I say that. The Lexingtons, I don't recall when we built them. But they're probably not that much younger than the Karama here. Or maybe even potentially a little bit older, I'm not sure. Um, either way, uh, Louisville, you're breaking off. This is a job for... The Lexington and Constitution. We already know what that is. That's a transport. You can just shoot at it. I know you have to wait till you officially identify and all that jazz. But don't bother. It's okay. Ooh, Lexington took a hit. Oh, no. Never mind. It didn't take a hit. Also, yes. Turns out, in fact, the A turret is the front turret. I never really realized that. But that's, that's good to know for future reference, I suppose. I should have known that, because I think it's Y, actually, for the F, now that I think about it. That would explain why the Houston, I think it was, or was the Augusta? No, I think it was the Augusta. Was failing to shoot before. Uh, you actually should probably aim for the destroyer. And that's why I just told you guys to go to cap instead of search. 
I realistically should have done it much sooner. Because it's going to take a while for the cap to arrive, and those torpedo bombers, they're not going to wait for the cap to arrive. You go up there, I want you to sink that corvette. If you can find, if you can catch up. It is a corvette, they're kind of fast sometimes. Oh shit, I don't think I ever started my timer. This is going for about 30 minutes, let me start my timer for 30. I complete. I just realized I completely forgot to set my timer. This part would have gone. This part would have gone on basically forever if I had not realized this. <laughs> Which some of you might have been okay with. I wouldn't have been. Well, either this would have gone on forever, or it would have been a short part, depending on uh, how it goes. Okay, well, if you're not gonna shoot at what I would love for you to shoot at. Go ahead and go for the land target. You can leave the Karama to the Constitutions. Admittedly, you guys aren't super accurate. At least, not as much as I would like. Also, why are you firing HE? Out of curiosity. Um, you have six inches of belt armor and two inches of deck. You can easily pen that. Maybe that's why you're firing Gage G. You say, well, we can easily pen that no matter what, so we might as well uh, maximize our chances of doing damage, because obviously HE, if it penetrates, is going to do a lot more damage than AP. Uh, I completely forgot about you guys. Don't know if you ever. I don't think you sunk that transport. And the Karama looks to be going into port. Louisville, I got a new target for you. That destroyer. I need you to scare it away. Because it kind of looks like it was attempting a run on the on our battle cruisers, and I don't want it to do that. Here you guys go. You found the Corvette again. So finish with that merchant, then get rid of that Corvette. It's actually a fairly slow Corvette. At only 17 knots, I think ours are 20. Not that it really matters, obviously. Okay, objective completed. Now to sink his... Your rudder jam, didn't it? No, you're just... Did your conning tower get hit or something? Your conning tower did in fact get hit and you jammed the Y turret. So you had a bit of an issue of figuring out who is supposed to be in charge now. You've dealt with that issue now. I want you to stop firing for a second. Well, I say a second, but it's not actually for a second. I just want you to stop firing. There you go. Now you can fire again. Manual targeting, go for the Karama. You're supposed to be yeah, okay. Never mind. The destroyers. Well, we know where the destroyer is. You just aren't shooting at it now because it's now considered unidentified, and obviously you can't shoot at an unidentified target. Because what if it's a neutral ship? You know, around a Japanese port. It'd be one thing if the game ever actually had that happen, where you could have other countries' ships 
around a port that you're fighting around. But that doesn't happen. So, realistically speaking, all unidentified ships are enemy ships. You just don't know what class it is yet. So for me, it's a... You should just shoot at all of them in this case. Because there is literally no reason not to shoot at any, every uh, ship that you see. Slow down to 20 knots. Yeah, I know. Having multiple ships firing at the same target gives issues for reasons. I admittedly find that very weird, that multiple ships firing at the same target results in accuracy uh, penalties. Personally, I don't think that should be the case. But what do I know? Because the reality is, the ships should be aiming independently of one another uh, when it comes to trying to get the right arc to fire on the target. The only reason I could see to have issues like that... Why is your forward gun not firing, Constitution? There we go, now it is. Just for some reason decided to stop firing. You completely went past your targets. Uh, same with you. You completely lost sight of them. Whatever. I would love to sink the Karama. If I can. But it's looking like that may not be the case. Though it has tricked us before, where it looks like it's going into port, but it's not. So I don't know. Is it or is it not actually doing that this time? The world may never know. And now we've lost sight of it. Ah, uh, sure. Go ahead and pick up survivors. That's fine. That's a merchant ship. Stay a little further out from the suspected minefield area. I don't expect that to hit, but you know what, try it, you never know. Sometimes you can get surprised. Um, Ohio, you go back home. Yep, it went into port. I know about that game. Ooh, we managed to get our hands on their Armored Cruiser Lancaster, which is a Hampshire class. It's a lot of guns. It has basically no AA capability. It has four 3-inch dual-purpose guns, so very little heavy AA factor, and only four light AA guns. Also, do the British legitimately not have anything better than director firing? Sunk two, three Japanese corvettes. In a battle between our ally and Japan, the German ship DDS-17 has been sunk. Oh no, not a German destroyer. We're still not blockading you, really. Uh, did some of my ships return? somewhere else, because I don't think that should have happened. 
Also, it looks like I still need to send even more of these destroyers to the Central Pacific. Um, actually, I think two will do. Oh, nope, not the Caribbean. Sorry. Central Pacific. Almost sent you guys to the wrong place. Okay, am I missing something? Because I should have more ships. In Northeast Asia. Why do I not have any of my... Um... Dreadnoughts there. Really? We're still out of commission for another two turns for some of these guys? Seriously? Is this a penalty for being... Over our base capacity there. I mean, I suppose it's a possibility. But I don't recall that being a thing. No, we're just having lots of freaking engine problems, which is probably, yes, a penalty for being over base capacity. That, that I could get. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Another turn. I know, game. I'm working on it. <sighs> Don't let them off cheaply. We win. I shall take Borneo and Formosa off you. Uh, do I want to take Madagascar? Do I? They'll have to defend it from the British. I'm not quite in a position to do that right now. Now... Screw the Indian Ocean, I don't need that. And the Germans take Tanganyika and Madagascar from Japan. Well, that saves me trouble. So that solidifies our hold a little more so in Southeast Asia. Um, oh yes, the guys in Northeast Asia, yeah, you don't need to be there anymore. Any of you guys need rebuilds? Probably. Let's look into that. Oh yes, you the sand have better fire control. Let's let's give you that. Um, dual purpose secondaries, yes, sure. Although I will decrease the number of secondaries you have as a result of this. Um, can I double mount them? Nope, I've not researched. Still have not researched double mounts or destroyers. There we go. This does result in you having a little bit less in the way of a torpedo load. You're going from 12 to 8. Which is not that big of a deal, realistically. Yeah, that's fine. Did I say 12 to 8? I meant 9 to 8. It's only 1. If it was 12 to 8, it would have been a much bigger deal, but no, it's only one, so I'm fine with this. I believe, yeah, four is the max. Um, we'll use this to give you a little bit more AA to defend yourself with. I say that, but never mind, that's actually not going to be the case. Nope, never mind, it will be. You'll get a little bit extra, not much. I could give you mines. but I'm not going to because I've never really found them useful. I've literally never sunk an enemy ship with a mine, ever. Um, so I don't find it super useful. So the Warringtons are going to go back home for a rebuild. The Minneapolises will also be going through a rebuild to give them a little bit more torpedoes. Dual purpose secondaries. Place some of your light AA with some medium AA. You've improved director. I'm going to have to give you a replace machinery to make this work, aren't I? Yep. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that, but sadly that is not the case. 
Uh, I'll keep you at 140 rounds per gun, that's okay. And you can't have any more than that, but you can have dual secondaries now. So we're going to go ahead and give you the... Actually, now that I think about it, if you can have dual secondaries, you probably don't need that. Uh, now, looks like you will still need that rebuild. Never mind. Okay, I was kind of thinking, maybe now you don't need that, but no, you still do. Okay, yeah, you can't have mine sweeping gear. I want to give you that, though. Because the reality of the situation is that so here's the thing you're gonna have to go through a replace machinery anyway to work the issue with um, dual gun secondaries is obviously if one of the turrets gets hit you lose two guns as opposed to just one gun. Now I could use the extra weight remaining to give you a little bit extra armor, say, you know, two and a half now instead of just two. Um, I could, no, I cannot actually make you faster. I was going to say maybe I could make you faster, but that ain't happening. I could drop you down to three inch, which probably isn't too big of a deal. Uh, give you AA director. Um, all four, I think. Just, you know, crank that up as high as it'll go. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with four inches. Uh, is there any way I can get this to work? I don't think so. I was hoping maybe I could get you to actually have all 41 of your AA positions used, but that ain't happening. This is fine. 10 months for this as well. I don't think I have any other Minneapolis's. I think those are the only ones we built. Uh, the Indiana. Uh, make your tertiaries dual gun mounts. Actually, there really is nothing I can do with you. Um, oh, well, I can improve your secondary, so... Or, well, yeah, I can improve your secondaries, and I can improve your primary guns, so... Uh, you have a max range of 30,000 yards, which is quite a bit of range. And at 5,000 yards, you can pen 21.42 inches of belt armor. Up to 23, and you gain an extra 3,000 yards. Yeah, I'm going to give you this rebuild, because there's literally no reason not to. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you a little bit extra light and medium AA. And I think that's going to be it. I'm trying to save some weight for when you inevitably get well, when we inevitably research catapults. Um, the New Mexico's get rebuilds as well. Better secondaries, drop those down to four, give them dual purpose, improve director. I gave you a ludicrous amount of ammo. I'm going to let you do a longer rebuild to decrease your ammo load to 150. A much more reasonable number. Uh, give you AA director. That that's quite a bit of weight you have left. You know what? I'm gonna make you faster. You're not a. That still doesn't make you a battle cruiser, interestingly, which is fine. Because I don't want you to be one. I'm going to swap these around, I think, though. Hmm. 
Wow, okay, that actually... a lot of weight left over now. So more AA. Now you have an AA... heavy AA factor of... Uh, 59. How fast can I make you before the game says... Uh, okay, whole form will not allow more than 27, that's fine. Do I make you diesel? I think the answer to that is no, because there's no reason to do that. Uh, we'll give you a little bit more turret armor. Because I've got the space on weight now. Why not? I could... Oh god, this is going to be a long-ass rebuild doing all this. But the New Mexicos have been around for a while. They really have been, shockingly. So, we'll let them stay in service. And you know what? We won't decrease your ammo load nearly as much. Or at all, in fact. Because it turns out, I don't need to decrease it to do any of this. So this is going to take almost two years. It's a good thing I'm not thinking we're going to war anytime soon. So, get these New Mexicos going. The Constitutions also need to get Improved Director, Dual Purpose, Tertiaries, give them all the AA Directors we can give them. No, it's not a Battle Cruiser game. I know you want it to be a Battle Cruiser, but it ain't a Battle Cruiser. A Director firing on your Secondaries, yes. Ooh, that's a big improvement on your main gun, which is always great. I don't know why the game's wanting you to be a battle cruiser now. Maybe it's because you're considered a little slow. Can I make you any faster? How fast can I make... I need you to be 29 knots for the game to stop wanting to consider you a battle cruiser. Or, excuse me, a battleship. There is no way I can make that happen. So we're just going to have to deal with the game wanting to constantly say, you're a battle... you should be a battleship, because you're so slow. Well, I'm not going to make it a battleship. It's going to stay a battle cruiser. Because I said so. It's literally that simple. There we go, like that. So 16.745... 20.4. Oh god, yeah, this is just wonderful. Um, we'll do 2020 there. We'll do that, that's fine. Nope, not a battle. Oh, yes, improve the fire control. Six months, not a battle cruiser. It's staying a, or excuse me, not a bat, a dreadnought. It's staying a battle cruiser. And that's one way to get all your ships out of a region very quickly, relatively speaking. So set all of you guys to foreign station. I need to find a way to make the ends meet on this. Those Californias are not exiting anytime soon at this rate. Oh, never mind. We actually do have a California that's exiting soon. Also, you guys get that rebuilt. No, you can wait a bit, actually. Uh, Boeing has a better fireball. Uh, a little bit more firepower. I'll take it. I know that game. No. Uh, let's put a halt on the... That actually did not do much. That's whatever. Stop spying. Well, no, we'll keep spying on the Germans. Better 7-inch guns, not that we use them. 
Is it? I don't think we have seven inch guns on anything. Missouri's finished her workup. Uh, let's see. Government should consider social reforms. Social reform is passed. Not surprising. Transverse arrestor wires, finally. Also game. I didn't miss it, right? No. Still no dedicated CVs. Uh, Germany. I kind of need some money, so sure, you can buy that. Better 11 inch guns, we don't use those on anything. Right? Yeah, we don't use those on anything. Let's see. The construction's finished. There we go, that's helping us out. Now, yeah, the issue part of it is that these older ships. When they're considered out of date, they have slightly more expensive maintenance. I think it's something like 10%, but don't quote me on that. I could definitely be wrong about that number. That's just... I think that's what I recall seeing something mentioned about. 4-2 is a bit weird. How about we just do 3-3? Three, three? Uh, that can't be dual purpose, and we still... For whatever reason, we are getting really unlucky with getting better quality 4-inch guns. I mean, we're getting things for 11 inches that we don't use, 7 inches that we don't use. I use 4-inch guns. Why aren't we focusing on that? Uh, I don't have any more Jenkins. New docks completed. Um, still no proposals for, yep, still can't do torpedoes. Um, I need to get budget, so we'll send some of our oldest ships for a world cruise for our young cadets. Triple turrets on CLs. Uh, don't think we're going to use that, but thank you, game. Yes, Germany, I would love to extend our agreement because you're useful in a war against Britain that I foresee happening in the nearish future. Disarmament. Uh, tell them to piss off. Because we're not going to a disarmament conference. Let's see, is there anything I can do on the Dales? I think the Dales might be a bit hard to get functional. Yeah, I think the Dales are going to have to do a, do a replace machinery to get working. And even that may not actually be able to do... Nope, we can just barely get it. So, no improvement to their torpedo load. Uh, but they do get the better firing control for their main guns. Eight months for that. A little longer than I would like. Anti Japanese rebellion in Djibouti. Uh, Russia wants something. Again, I need money. Uh, temporary setback in the concept of increased loading mechanization. Boeing has developed an even better version of the Fireball, which is actually faster. Has more range. And that's the only difference. I'll still take it. Okay, go ahead and get to work on those New Mexicos again. Also, the Californias. Um, I think they have a rebuild, don't they? Yes, they do. The main guns need to be improved along with the secondaries. Give you more, well, give you those. Give you more light AA. Um, I think that's the only thing I really want to do with you. Yeah. Everything else can stay as is. Uh, we're probably going to design a new battle cruiser. 
in, well, soonish actually. Now that we have all forward um, designs, and that gives us weight savings, and I, I think battle cruisers are probably going to benefit from that quite a bit. Let's go ahead and get the Californias going. The French want stuff. Sure, I need money. New liberal government. Um, this will spell doom for our proud nation. We'll be at the mercy of other nations that are better prepared. Uh, okay, having problems with superimposed B on light cruisers. Uh, better heavy AA effectiveness. Always nice. Uh, what is it with the AI and putting basically no heavy AA uh, guns on their ships? I I see this regularly. They love putting these four three-inch guns in dual purpose, but that's basically no heavy AA factor. Uh, Britain. Not quite ready to go to war with you because we're doing a lot of rebuilds right now, so I'll take the prestige it. And Djibouti has now declared independence from Japan. Not surprised. That was my timer that just went off. We'll let this go a little bit longer. Germany wants more stuff. Go ahead. Better explosive shells, always nice. Go ahead, Japan or Germany. We're not going to sell anything to Japan or Britain. Uh, issue an ultimatum to Japan. Japan, I just beat your ass once. I can do it again. Seriously? Japan is unimpressed by me threatening to beat their ass again. Oh, Japan, Japan, Japan. These Chicago's have been in service for ages. And I think they're probably going to have to do a big rebuild if I want them to continue to stay in service. I want them to be 4 inch guns for one, and how many until you stop complaining about too many secondary guns for this displacement. There you go. Okay, do that. Now, what I'm probably going to want to do... Yeah, I think the best way to do this would be to... Remove all your turrets. Forward F, can I? Will you actually let me do this? You would actually let me do this. Can I make them six inches? Uh, what's this? Rebuild error, turret A, illegal caliber. Okay, so I can't, but I can keep them as doubles. So we're going to remove all of those weird um, wing turrets that you got. We're going to replace them with just a forward and an aft. Um, double turrets, of course. We'll give you... We'll upgrade your um, second or your torpedo. Actually, no, we won't. We're going to keep you at the two, I think. Or just delete them, maybe. Make you a bit faster instead. 24 knots. Still a little slow, but you'll do a better job of keeping up with the old Pueblos as well as keeping up with our battle cruisers. And you're a little bit faster than our dreadnoughts now. Well, can I do that actually? Um, maybe not actually. Three inches. Can I get this to work at all? Because if so, that would be great. 
Because again, slightly overweight. Technically, it does work. It's just not as well as I would like. Uh, I can't decrease your rounds per gun at all. I mean, 23 would be an improvement, just not as much as I would like. I would like 24 if I can work that. I don't want to decrease the number of guns you have for secondaries if I can. But I may have to do that, actually. There has to be a way to get this to work without decreasing your... I do a weird design like this, where it's two forward, one aft. That's just, no. I mean, I can do it, but it's a weird-ass design, so I'd rather not. Again, you're only slightly overweight. Okay, never mind. You're just gonna go with single turrets. We're gonna drop you down to six secondaries. Or maybe not. Okay, yeah, no, you have to go down to six secondaries. Yeah, so this is a bit of a weird design. We'll give you a little bit extra ammo. Uh, you're still going to have to lose that fire control position. But, well... There you go. You get a little extra ammo, but not as much as you would have gotten. And that gets our Chicago's back up and operational again. I could off-screen all these because they're really not that important, but I'm not doing that. Uh, get rid of your torpedoes. Improve director, increased that. Uh, make those dual turrets, maybe. Yeah, probably gonna have to do that. Drop that down. Can I make those? I could. The game will actually let me do that, interestingly. Is there any way to make this work? Big rebuild. Um, the answer is sadly looking like probably no. So can't quite get you as good as I would like, but this is still, I think, a better design than what you had. Just not by much. Also, I think I'll keep you with light AA rather than mediums. Yeah, this is... Okay, again, these are the Olympias, the Chicagos. Those were like starting designs. They're still in service now, um, 33 years later. Somehow they're managing to stay useful. Director. Drop those down to four. Heavy AA. Give you a bit of a compliment of medium AA. Uh, anything else? Yes, your secondaries can be improved. Your main guns can be improved. And you can have director firing on your secondaries. That's great. Uh, a little bit extra armor on the turret tops, I think. Uh, not on the secondaries, though. Also, I'm probably going to swap around your secondaries a little, I think. Not completely. Uh, can I do that? Can I do 1816? I can. Little extra armor on the secondaries, maybe. Yeah, I like that. I think this is a pretty decent rebuild. 
for these guys. I wanted to give you triple turrets that have to drop you down to 8 inch guns, which ain't happening. If I send you for a replace machinery, I might be able to make you a little faster, but 25 knots is okay for you right now, I think. Well, let's see. You know what? No, we'll send you for that. It's going to take you a little over a year. Actually, yeah, okay. I was going to see if maybe I could get you 29, but not quite. Yeah, I think this is good. I swap? No, okay, that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Let this part go a little long while I go through these rebuilds. That's... I think that's all we're going to do, because these other... The Corvettes, I'll off-screen those. Those aren't important at all. Um, so that'll be it for this part. I will see you all next time, where we will... Well, try to decrease tensions with Japan, because I'm not quite interested in going to war with them, for one. Um... We'll probably just be mostly focusing on doing rebuilds, I think, is going to be most of next part, is at least the plan. So I'll see you all next time. Quick reminder, if you enjoy the videos and you enjoy the content on the channel and you want to help support the channel, the easiest and best way to do that is to go and join my Patreon down below. You can find a link to it down in the description. For as little as a dollar a month, you'll get early access to all of my videos, and if a bunch of people do it, it helps the channel out immensely. Oh, I was also, before I forget, I was wanting to probably scrap these Montanas. I think I'm going to do that. Um, Really? The Ohio is an, has an impressive battle record. I mean, you do you, game, sure. You can make it a museum ship. Because the Montanas aren't that great. We got the new fancy chargers. So we're going to stick with those. Um, but yeah, so, uh, also down there in my description, or in the description, you'll find a link to my Discord. I do recommend joining that. That is my go-to place for posting channel happenings. Uh, but I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.